Hello YouTube. Today I thought I might share some ghost stories with you. So sit back, relax and just listen to some tales from the past. The first one is around near where I used to live in Audley. It's Kentle Caves. In Kentle Caves, there's said to be a pig man. Um, he wards off people who try to get into the caves. Uh, it's said that he captures people and picks them up and chucks them down some of the shafts and they can't get out. Um, others say they see lights up there or fires um, so that's more like a local legend not not like a ghost story I don't think but you never know it could be a spirit of a pig man the next one is near Audley but this is the Boonhill Bear and near around Audley people would say oh have you seen the the Boonhill Bear. Of course, the story goes that about, I think it was about the 1800s, the, uh, there was a circus and this bear escaped. I think it killed a few people. Um, and uh, of course, they captured it and when they did, they killed it. And uh, ever since, the spirit of the bear has been wandering the woods and fields of the, you know, around Boonhill area. Maybe Wood Lane, Almer End, maybe Miles Green, places like that. Very close proximity to one another. The next one comes from Almer End and this is actually a story I think it was from around about the 1950s um, it said that there was an old lady who lived in Almer End and she was doing a shopping and whilst she was doing a shopping this man just thought he could go in the house and help himself to her things he was there putting ornaments and things into his bag, rubbing around the house, opening drawers, emptying everything into this bag. And then all of a sudden he saw a dog. And of course, the dog chased him away. And uh, I don't know what the police were, were, were called. Some, most probably like a neighbour or something had seen him and they called the police. But it's said that this dog waited for the police to show up. And of course, the old lady returned to the house. When she returned, the police said, Oh, thank God you've got that dog. And she, she was a bit taken aback. She said, A dog? And uh, she had a picture on the side and she showed the police the picture and said, What, this dog? And they said, Yeah. Of course, she said, couldn't be my dog, but my dog's been dead 12 years. And as the, the, the policeman looked back at the dog, and the dog disappeared. So, it was a ghost dog. The next one, that also comes from Elmer End. Now, um, there's a a train line that goes through Elmer End and uh, it was actually my granddad and my dad were there one day because my dad used to live uh, on um, I think it was uh, station station walks that's the one it took me a few minutes to, to get the, but I've got it yeah, station walks, and they were there, and they were building a pigeon shed, because my family likes pigeons and stuff like that. And uh, 
all of a sudden they were they were working away and all of a sudden they heard this train you know the um the sound basically a, a steam train makes and they both looked at one another like in shock and uh, the sound got closer and closer until it seemed to pass right through them because obviously where they were at one time it was the train tracks and they were pretty shook up um, and yeah so I think it was my granddad who told me that one there was another another tale that my granddad told me as well that uh, he said if uh, if you stand on top of the bridge, there's a bridge in Almer End, well, between Almer End and Audley. And if you stand on top of that bridge at 12 o'clock midnight on All Hallows Eve, an headless horseman and carriageman, a carriage, go over the bridge to, from Audley to Almer End and then up the bank. Um. I've never tried it out. I've never stayed there on all those Eve at 12 o'clock. So it could be true. It might be possible because my granddad said he did and he did it and something happened. He wasn't sure what, but yeah. So I think he heard most probably like horse footsteps or something. You know, like a carriage going through. We don't think he actually saw anything, but he definitely heard something. Um, any others? Oh yes, there's another one where my granddad used to be a farmer and he was in this field one early morning and he said it was all misty and uh, in the distance he could hear yelling and as the the mist lifted he said he could see a cavalier and a roundhead fighting. So it must have been a ghost of a cavalier and a roundhead. And uh, of course, when the mist had completely gone, they disappeared. But that mist came and came and went that quick. He said it was something was not right about it. He'd never seen mist like that before because normally it lingers. For a good long while and it never did it just came down fell he saw them and as the mist lifted they were gone um let's see any others um something someone told me years ago about in orderly itself i think they said something about They've heard and seen Roman soldiers actually marching through the streets late at night about oh, three o'clock in the morning, something like that. And they go down, and as they go down, they go down to where the castle used to be. I think there was a, a Roman settlement there before, because I'm pretty certain there was. But yeah, that one was... Um, I can't remember now who I heard that off, but... It, was definitely, um, yeah, it was orderly, definitely orderly, because someone said it about, about it in orderly. Um, can't think of any right now. I'll have to get back to you. Goodbye.